and I want you to describe to me what do you imagine is there? It's a dome. It's a dome. But there's, I'd say seating, but it's more pods for different energies to be in. Seating pods? Yeah, like pods for different energies. For different energies? Yeah, you've got the human energies and the different levels of energy from different levels within the universal realms. So you're saying human energy and different energies? Different energies from other universal realms is what... Mm -hmm. There's somebody guiding me around. Yeah? Well, ask that guide who is guiding you around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How often do they meet in this chamber, in this dome? They meet here daily in our terms. Yeah? For different purposes, there are different councils for different purposes. Mm -hmm. It's in constant use. In constant use. Mm -hmm. um, and how many, how many energies are there? Hundreds. Hundreds. They're not all human. The human energies are only one aspect of this universal council's work. Human energy is only one. Aspect. Aspect of the council's work. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are other levels of dimensions of life. I see. And do you mean alien life by that, as we describe it as alien? As we describe as alien, they're not, they're just life. They're just life. Some visit our planet. Mm hmm. Would you like me to describe them to you? Yes. So um, the council's sat now. Okay. We've got those aliens with the big brains where the head, the skull's elongated at the back. Yeah. It's those there. There's one, they look in human form, but they're not human. They wear a crossed shield across their front. Mm -hmm. And the energy from that, I'm stepping away from their energy, because the energy that comes for your solar plexus isn't something we can live with on the soul plane. Right. This earth plane in our souls is too strong for us. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and where do they come from? They're clearly visiting. No, they're not visiting. Right. Well, they are visiting, but all the different planes of existence which there are hundreds, are all represented at this council. Mm. There's other life forces, some are just energies. And now we've got... I can't say the word. Plan... Plant something. I don't mean plant energies. Plantagenous, I can't say it. Okay. I just said that I just say life on Mars and the laughing. I find that quite amusing that we just can't question life on Mars. Because they're saying there's so many different solar systems that we're barely scratching the surface. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going. There's another one. I like him. He's like got a V shaped head. A V shaped head? Yes. He's, uh... What colour is he? He's black, dark. But he's changing colours. He's smiling at me. Mm -hmm. He's like, he's, as we'd call a chameleon, changing colours. Yeah. So you can telepathically communicate and feel his vibration. Yeah, totally. He's so fun. He's uplifting. Very good. Mm -hmm. Right. He's saying he's something from E. Egon. 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 Mm hmm. Okay, that's him, he's nice, I like him. They're telling me not to call them him and hers, they're just energies, they don't do the right. sexuality thing we do. Do we have permission to ask the council a couple of questions today? Yes, 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 they're just saying that's what you came for. Yeah. Now, is there going to be one particular person answering these questions, or are they going to share? I think they're going to share because... Okay, thank you, because I've been told. There's three others, but I can't see them, I just know their energies are there, so it's these three... 
Mm -hmm. We're going to and there's a human energy as well. Right. So the qu first question that I want to ask is, when we die, do people go back to an age which they were happiest? All right. This is coming from the human spirit that's there, not the others. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is, when they initially passed to spirit, they may do that just for comfort. Right. And to feel secure because they're starting a new life. I see. So they will go to a, pe a place they feel safe, an age they feel safe. But that is a temporary thing before they are ready to move on and progress. So through. it's more of a reassurance technique. It's a, it's a safety yeah. blanket where we regress because well, we feel safe. Mm -hmm. Now Jackie asked another question. How can we better look after this planet? Start loving it and stop abusing it. Mm -hmm. All the others are nodding. Yeah. We abuse this planet. We don't value it. We value things, mm -hmm. not the planet. We have to value. We plant more flowers, plant more trees. Use nature's resources how they are meant to be used. Okay. And do you mean such as solar Solar, energy? wind, collect the rain. Mm -hmm. Stop commercialising your planet. You will kill it. I see. Have we lived on other planets before? Some have, not others. Some souls have only been on the earth plane. Those souls are the ones that you refer to as narcissists. They are very selfish, uncaring, damaged souls because they have no experience. It would be like a person only living in their town and area and knowing nothing else. I see. So by expanding our awareness and visiting other planets and life forms, that's the, where we get the knowledge and understanding. Yes, is that what you're saying? that's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's come from the Earth and the Enlarged School one. The Enlarged School people are telling me they work closely with the Earth. Mm -hmm. The three energies, eight, oh, alien energies... The three extra energies that are there work closely with the earth. Yeah. I've got a letter. I've got a question from Sam. Do other life forms live amongst us here on earth? And how long have they been here? Yes. Mm -hmm. how, how, do, how do we recognise them? Or do well, we not? They've been here since this planet was created. I see. What is happening in the last... I want to say a hundred years or so. It's a very short time. We are gradually letting ourselves be known to you. I see. We have... In your time where they were the pyramids, time of your development... Yeah. We were well known then. I see. Mm -hmm. There are other times when we had to come to the forefront because of the damage you were doing. Describe some of that damage so that we understand, because we can look back on history for the records. I'll go to a recent one. Sorry, this is the spirit talking, not me. A recent one in recent history was slavery. Mm -hmm. We came forward very strongly and we made people on this planet aware that you cannot treat any human being differently because of their colour or creed. The same thing happened in the Egyptian times with their slavery. We tried to educate them then. Thank you for making that clear. Uh, Dean has asked a question. What is, um, what is going on with the Schumann resonance? The chameleon coloured energy wishes to speak with this the resonance is vibrating all the time mm -hmm. but with anything that vibrates it changes its frequency so it cannot be heard or felt at this time 
the energies of the earth are changing along with the energies of your sun and of the solar area, what you call your galaxy. Your galaxy is affected by other galaxies and other energies. So that energy is changing the vibrations in your galaxy and therefore your planet. And is this a world order or is, has this happened by error? No, this is meant to be happening because you need to change how you live. I see. So is that the reason why it hasn't been registered, this resonance, for the past few days? It's just changing vibration. It will come back. Mm -hmm. Is that why we've all sensed that change in atmospheric pressure? Yes, you're all... Those of you who are already sensitive and aware feel it more so. Other people just get angry and confused. I see. And Dean also wants to ask, um, what energy do extra terrestrials power their spacecraft with? I mean, such as, I don't know, plasma energy from the sun or the stars? We use our energy aura. The en energy that is us. The energy aura? Mm -hmm. As you have your auras on the Earth plane. Yeah. You are somewhat, uh, what's the word? Restricted because of the gravity. I see. That you're in. We use our, what you would call our auras. Right. Our energy of being that powers. And some of that, to recharge that energy... In your solar system, we use the energy coming off the planets to recharge us. I see. So when somebody's very, very drained, if one of us has been rather naughty here, we may have used your energy. I see. And Neil asks the question, how many spirit planes are there? And is there a limit to how many can reside on those planes? <sighs> There's two answers here. One, if you are looking at the spirit planes just of the earth, there are millions. But they are divided into seven levels that the earth souls can understand and reach. Or there has been mm -hmm. seven that the earth souls can reach. That is expanding. We're doubling in it. Du du He's been told to stop speaking. So, perhaps he was given too much information too soon? Too much. Things are changing and expanding. As the human energy expands, their awareness will expand. We're talking about expansion, can you explain something about the fifth dimension? Right, the fifth dimension is misunderstood. Now, the one that's got the cross on his clothes is having to talk to somebody else to talk to me because his energy is too much for humans to deal. The fifth dimension is a continuum of human life. It is where your human spirit expands and lives partly in the universal energy as well as the human energy. It does not affect the physical body as such. It's just the physical body is not as important as it would be for somebody in a fourth, third or second dimension. I see. The sixth dimension, which is coming in some years, is where the physical body will no longer be as needed as it is now. Are you saying that we'll be more of a light body? We will be. Some will, some won't. Because it is all transition. I see. What you now call spirits, the human spirit that leaves the body, goes to the spirit realms, comes back and visits. That is the start of it. I see. What will happen and is happening is that spirit energies, whether of the earth plane or other dimensions, 
are coming more and more to communicate with people here on the earth plane to help increase knowledge of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Some of those human spirits that are here will come back in that form and not reincarnate into a body. They will communicate. The people they communicate with will be able to see, feel and hear them as though they were a human form or alien form. It won't really matter. But the information they will be bringing is about saving this planet. Mm -hmm. So we're not treating the planet very well then? You are treating this planet appallingly. Mm -hmm. You should leave a very small footprint on this planet, not a whopping great hole. Mm -hmm. Have we lived on other planets? Have we abused other planets? Not the human race. Mm -hmm. Can but I ask? there are other races that have done, that's <coughs> why we know. Ah, so we should Atlantis learn Atlantis by... was one who messed it up. Mm -hmm. People misunderstand Atlantis. In this planet, you say your polar caps are melting. Atlantis was a planet where they abused it and their equivalent polar caps, caps melted and they drowned the planet. Some of the refugees from that planet came to this one. That is where the stories of Atlantis come from. How interesting. I'll be sure to let everybody know. There's a question that I'd like to ask, and it's very sensitive, but I do think it's important. What about the people who choose a contract, a life down here, um, but then through various challenges, choose to go home early? I'll put it that way. You're talking of people ending their lives. Yes, I am. We have no problem with people ending their lives. That is their choice and their free will. Mm -hmm. You can't die for the life of you. If, you're, if it's not your time to return, you won't. So part of their contract is to come home early. I see. The problem is people on the earth plane are so limited in their thinking that they can't understand that when somebody takes that transition back to their spirit self, they're actually leaving a great gift for others here to grow and develop from. Thank you very much. And the soul who's passed is welcomed with love, comfort and reward. It takes a lot of courage to end your life here. People say, your planet say it's cowardly. It is not. It is a brave, selfless thing to do. Thank you. Now, I know that there's a lot of us light workers now that are coming together and working together, and Nina and I have worked together on a number of things. Um, am I on the right path here with regression, using it as a modality for healing and healing the body? You are on the right path, but there is more to do with it, as you are discovering by talking to us higher realms. Mm hmm your personal life is a disaster. Thank you. Get rid of that person. He is destroying you. The sooner you set yourself free, the sooner you will grow. Thank you. And what about Nina and her work? How's she doing? She's getting there. She's had to fulfil a contract with this last relationship. She knows what she's doing and she knows how to get there. Mm -hmm. Her therapy of release and rescue is going to be very, very important for this planet. Mm -hmm. And it needs to get out there. The more people who know and understand it, the more they will heal and they will stop damaging others and themselves. Well, I've actually been privy to that release and rescue therapy from Nina and it is very rewarding and healing healing of m mental and emotional trauma if you look at your aura the energy that you and the chakras that are part of your human race they become damaged 
and broken and stained. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're doing surgery on a heart and repairing that heart. That is what Nina's therapy does. Yeah. It's surgery for the soul. Mm -hmm. So what kind of therapy is my work? I mean, it's similar, but... Your, th your therapy is also for the soul, but in a different dimension. I see. Yours helps bring understanding. Yeah. And it gives some release from things that are not of this life, of previous lives. Whereas Nina does the trauma in this life. Mm -hmm. So they complement each other. Yeah. So before we come to the end of this session, is there a question that I ought to have asked or should have asked before we end this session? The pandemic. The pandemic. This has been man-made. Man-made? It's been deliberate. It has been allowed to spread deliberately. And though some people may not understand this, it has been done with our blessing. What is the reason for that? You need to value human life. I see. Did we get out of sync? Out of sync, out of caring. They put value on money, not people. Mm -hmm. The only way to change that is by losing a lot of people and start valuing life again. And stop blaming this race or that race or this. It's like having a planet full of toddlers running around having tantrums. Mm -hmm. So we need to see the bigger picture. You very much need to see the bigger picture. We will not let you down. Mm -hmm. Death is not the end. It is the beginning. And I wish you people on earth would start realising this. Thank you very much for that. Do we have permission to come back another time to ask questions to this council? Yes, yes you may. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now that we're coming to the end of that session, 